the Lord please God bless you in the name of Jesus. I am Dr. Abraham Moses. It is well with you. My account on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok is Abraham Moses Bishop. My number is plus 234-802-83-55548. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, thank you for the people you are set to bless. Thank you for taking control. Thank you for taking charge. Take all the glory. Take all the praise. Blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 I'm so excited because God has been so faithful to me. He's the same God yesterday. He's the same God today. He's the same God forever. I'll be talking today on what I titled Power in the World. Power in the World. Power of the world. There is power in the word of God. We live in a world of words. We live in a world of words. You hear me? Somebody is making an incantation. You are keeping quiet. If you are making incantation, give them your word. You to begin to speak in tongues. It's a word of words. Somebody is at your side, at your front, making incantation. You to begin to speak in tongues. In John chapter 1 from verse 1, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was with God from the beginning. All things were made by him. Without him was nothing made that was made. He said in him was light, and the light was the light of man, and the light shineth in darkness. You hear me? The Bible says in Psalm 119, the entrance of the word of God it gives light and understanding unto the simple. In John chapter 6, verse 63, he said, It is the spirit of quickness, the flesh profited not him. The word I speak unto you, they are spirits and they are lie. The centurion's master told Jesus, he said, Master, I have not word that you come to my room, but speak the word, and my servant shall be made whole. Peter told Jesus, he said, We have tried all night, Master, and have caught nothing. He said, Nevertheless, at your word, I will let them in there. And he got results. In Jeremiah 15, 16, he said, Your word I have found and eaten, and it has become to me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. For I am called by your name. Hear me? You need to use the power. There is power in the word of God. There is power in your mouth. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. There are things you need to say. There are some negative words that have been spoken into your life. You have to speak positive things to your life. Hear me, people of God? In Genesis chapter 47, it was words that Jacob spoke to his children. He spoke words and he what came to pass. He told Reuben in Genesis 47, he said, Reuben, you are my first son, the excellency of my dignity. He said, I'll stay with us water, you will not, you will not exert. He spoke the word and the word was working in the life of Reuben until a man by name Moses came. Moses now changed this world by his word of his mouth. He says, let Reuben live and not die. And let his people not be few. Hear me, people of God. It doesn't matter any negative word they have spoken into your life. You have the ability. You have the power. There is power in your mouth. You need to speak the same word. They speak reverse those words. There are so many things that have said about you. You are keeping quiet. You need to use the word. There is power in the word of God. It is the word. The spirit of quickening, the flesh profited not him. The word I speak unto you, they are spirits and they are life. Hear me? Learn to use the word of God. He sent forth his word, and his word he let and delivered from the affliction. But the problem is that you are, we are not making use of the word. <laughs> if you don't know, angels are your messenger. Send angels on errand with your word. Angel, angel begin to war for, fight for me. Hear me, people of God? If you want things to work in life, you must use the word. The word, the last word that Jesus spoke, it is finished. It's a prayer. Your problem is finished. Your, your sickness is finished. Your lack is finished. It is finished. Begin to use word. Begin to use word. Don't let, you hear me? When people want to slander you, they use words. When people want to slander you, they use words. We live in a world of words. You two have to use the same word. The Bible says, your word I have found, your word have I hid in me, that I may not sin against thee. How much of the word of God do you have? There is power in the word of God. There is power in the word of God. There is power in the word of your mouth. What you say is what you become. You cannot be bigger or greater than what you think or what you, your thoughts. So mind what you say. 
There is power in the word of God. Study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman that needed not to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. You have the power to use the word of God. And God will bless you in the name of Jesus. I believe you have been blessed. Please, make use of the word and things will work for you. There is power in the word of God. Till I come your way again, I still remain Dr. Abraham Moses. My number is plus 234 God bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to use God's word and you will see results that we cancel in salt. God bless you.